we're going to try something new here and we're using uh, Don's photograph that he sent to me and I printed it out on some clear water slide decal paper. I went ahead and printed it out and I sprayed it probably with three, oh, let's see, probably this one, probably five coats of this. I let them dry in between. This is a matte finish. I painted this piece of wood, this artist's palette or whatever they call these things, wood panels. And I painted it white and then I put a few coats of a satin um, sealer on there. So it's kind of smooth. I've never done this, so we should really have some fun with it. I'm not gonna say never, but I haven't actually done it officially, just kind of a practice. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, find a something, one of these high key images or something like this with a white background. And as you know, um, printers don't print white. So the paper itself is looks white, but it's actually clear. So instead of having um, the whites fill in, what we're gonna have is just clear wherever the white is. And that's why I painted this piece of wood white. So I've gone ahead and I've kind of cut it out on the edges and we're going to stick it in this water, which I have here. And this is very typical for it just to curl up like that. It's supposed to. And then you let it just sit in here for about a minute. This water is just about like room temperature. And... Some people say to use warm water, but mostly what you're doing is you're just kind of letting the water soak through the back here. So this will slide off, this image will slide off of the backing and we're gonna put it on this. I'm going to get this panel, uh, wood panel, ready to do the next little thing that I'm doing for you. This is Mod Podge, and I'm actually, I actually watered it down just a little, and I'm going to paint it on here, and we're going to let it dry. I'm gonna do one here too, so I might as well do that now. On the video, I actually painted it with two watered down layers of Mod Podge, and it's real smooth. I did a little tiny bit of sanding. It's smooth to the touch, no little sharp bumps or anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna iron this on, and we'll have something we can give to somebody other than just the print. So this is parchment paper. Make sure you don't use wax paper and put it on here and make sure it's where you want it to be before you start to iron. Now I have this little travel iron that I bought just for this kind of thing. 
and it's all heated up about oh medium heat or so it's still really hot you wouldn't want to put it on your hand or anything and I'm going to just start in the middle so that the the print doesn't move around and it starts to stick so what's really happening here is the Mod Podge and the sealer are melting from the heat. I mean, hopefully when I turn lift this up that you'll see that. Um, and it'll stick to the wood panel. Let's see how we're doing here. Well, yeah, it's stuck. Do a little bit more. You want to make sure and get your edges really well because, just because. Okay, so, there we go, I think it's done. So it doesn't take much time at all. The parchment paper comes off and your image is stuck. It can't really come off. I mean, you could make it come off if you wanted to rip it off, but this is hot now, so we'll let it cool. And once it cools, um, you can go and put a little hanger on here or do whatever you want with it. And it just becomes something to hang on a wall. So that's one idea. I thought it'd be fun to try to do one of these clear uh, decal photographs using say something like this, which was an image I took up at Joshua Tree. I turned it into a black and white or sort of a black and white. And uh, I'm gonna see how it comes out by doing that decal, water decal transfer. So assuming you can see, yes, you can. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with Dawn's photograph. And we want it not to curl up and we'll have to let it sit for a minute 